Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Cubase Elements. Today I'm going to show you how to use the chord track, put in a drum track, and use the groove agent, and also bring in some of the MIDI clips from uh, Cubase that are built into it, and then have those all follow the chord track. So um, let's get started with this. So we're going to turn on some buttons up here and go over here to your setup toolbar and click on this media and mix console windows and it's going to bring up these buttons right here we're going to be using those a little later so first thing I want to do is uh, build in four bars here and if yours isn't set to four bars you can hold the alt key and just drag on the region section here and make it larger smaller and Cubase will export your song if it's contained in this region so if you have clips that are outside Cubase isn't going to mix them down uh, that's just a note uh, to self there and I now I want to get started making a chord chart so click on the plus icon and go down here to add chord track and then uh, I'll just make this a little larger. Yeah. What I want to do is draw in some placeholders for the chords. So click the draw tool here and put them on each bar. Now also you can drag and duplicate. Like if you had a clip over here with some audio data and you wanted to duplicate it, hold down the alt key, drag it across and drop it. Works that way. So now let's use the circle of fifths um, tool here and just put in some chords. Now just stick with me on this and uh, just put in the chords I'm putting in because you'll after this is done you'll have a fully functioning four bar song here and then you can change it to whatever you like. Um, so that's made in there now and now I'm going to put in a drum track so right click here and add instrument track and this is where that groove agent comes in click on it add track and inside of here are all kinds of different drum patterns and instruments so what we want to do is load up a pattern set so I'll right click in here on this uh, yellow icon or yellow highlighted area and click load kit with patterns and select the Bessie one down here once that gets in there make sure this is turned down a little bit click the play button and then go into patterns here and you'll see it has a lot of patterns already set up that you can start creating a song like has intro, verse, choruses. So I'm going to go ahead and drag this one right onto the timeline in the groove agent section. And then click stop so this doesn't continue playing because it will in the background. Now if you notice this clip is a little larger than what we need. So you can always make it smaller like this or just uh, cut it with the split tool. Press 1 on the keyboard and then get rid of it. Okay, so now we have a drum track. Just leave that as is. And now uh, put in an instrument in here and that's where this media bay comes in. So click on that. Get the media bay. And I'll press this to get back to everything and what I want to do is look for a guitar and find uh, like some acoustic bossa nova type of guitar and let's see uh, what we got just click on this notice it's a MIDI loop okay this is a volume lever here makes it handy so you know your song here might be louder or softer and you click through these and they're much louder you 
blow your eardrums out. So after this is in here, get the one you want, just drag it in there and take a listen to it. Just drag this, make it a little larger. So we just have like a one chord type of vamp going on there. And now we want to get this to change to our chord project, uh, progression up here. So how you do that, you've probably seen already over here. The track selected says follow chord track. That's all we have to do. So we have chords and follow directly. Yep. Now when I click this, watch what happens to these MIDI notes. They all change to be right in the key that they need to be. So let's take a listen. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now you can change all that. You want to go into a different key here. Now the circle of fifths makes it really nice because you know what key to pick or what chord to pick. You have some alternatives there. Okay, so that's all that's needed there. So let's uh, add another one. And uh, maybe a bass. And uh, you have to look for one that's a MIDI loop. Try to find something that has a little bit more of a progression to it. Okay, that's pretty cool. So put that one in there. So get that in. And then change that to follow the chord track. And we'll see the MIDI notes change. There they go. this up a little bit. Okay. So it was playing the chords up there. We don't want to do that. That's pretty cool. Now you can bring up the, uh, if you want to start hearing what it sounds like in a mix down, click the console here. You can adjust the volumes. It says nylon guitar in that. Now let's say if you wanted to rename those something, you could do that too. I'll show you how to do that. So it says groove agent. Well, this would be like our drums. So type in drums then hold down the shift key and press enter. That changes the name of the track right here. You just put bass or you can leave them as you want them. It's up to you. So let's go back into the mixer. I'm going to turn this down a little bit and then click the effect button and first I'm going to put in some dynamics maximizer and then a little reverb and let's see if we pick uh, Uh, 
I just grab that arena one and kind of tweak it a little bit. So it sounds like it's sound all right. There's a few things in there. So it sounds like there's probably something wrong with the bass right there. So let's take a look at cutting just that clip. Cut these in four sections. And then double click. And then click in here and press select all. And then match with chord track. Now it looks like it's all right just a little lower than it should be so let's try something here the match this is gonna make it a lot higher but okay So what I did was I just selected all those, clicked in here in an empty gray area, press Control A, and then move it up and down with the uh, up and down arrow keys. That's it. So that concludes this tutorial on how to make these items and get them to work. And I hope you have fun with this. Cubase Elements is a great program to get started in, and you can make some very nice songs in it. So thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care now. Bye-bye.